Welcome to Watch Chat, where we chat about watches and other facts of life. Meet my GF. A big shout out to Sincere Fine Watches for letting me check out this timepiece. If you're looking for any watches, especially independent brands, do check them out and I'm sure they'll sort you out. This is Grubo for sale GMT Balencia Convex in Titanium. One look at it and you know that it's a big boy. The entire watch is measured at 46.5mm in diameter and 17.4mm in height. The case, bezel, lugs and claps are all made out of titanium, giving it a very light feel. The case is made out of three layers creating a sandwich design, having the engraved pusher and put out crown tucked in between it, giving it a visually smaller form. The unique rugged and sporty looking case bulges out convexly at the middle, thereby increasing its height. Whilst the case and lugs are all brushed, the bezel following the convex flow is polished finish, hand polished. The profile and hidden lugs and screws are also titanium. Interestingly, the strap is actually tucked underneath the bezel giving it a bigger real estate on the dial. Hence, the length of the watch is the same as its diameter. The strap here has a cobalt blue fabric-like material in rubber with blue stitching on the side. The underlaying of the strap is with suede for comfort. To change the strap, you need to remove these screws using specific tools. The strap does jut out a fair bit as you can see on my 16cm circumference wrist. The double folding claps here is polished with the GF name beautifully engraved on it. The GMT Balencia Convex is powered by a movement that is made out of 423 parts with an in-house variable inertia balance wheel with 6 go mean time screws, 2 coaxial series coupled fast rotating barrels, 42 olive domed jewels in gold chatons, 21,600 VPH, 72 hours of power reserve and 100 meter of water resistance. The entire base of the dial is made out of a frosted titanium that is hand finished. One of the stars of the show here is that 30 degree inclined angle escapement wheel that seems to be held in mid air by a black polished balance wheel bridge, pillars, and flanks. This mechanical wonder beautifully displays Gruber Fossier's technical know how in refined form. The other star of the show here is of course that rotating titanium globe in 3 dimension that has more than 2 thirds of the continents relief engraved signifying that it is a GMT slash world timer watch. Surrounding the globe is an engraved and lacquered day and night UTC indicator in titanium with the black indicating the night and the titanium indicating the day. The globe isn't just there for its aesthetic but for its functionality as well. Like my Omega Seamaster Aquaterra World Timer, if you are able to spot a city using the map on the globe and using the day and night indicator which also has a 24 hours display, you can draw an invincible line from the center of the globe across the map to determine the time of that location. The GF here does it even better by displaying more than two thirds of the continents giving you more cities to spot. Expanding from the night and day indicator, Grubo Fossier have their ideology stamped around two rings which rotates the hour and minute triangle hands that rest on top of those rings. The triangles are loomed. Expanding further from there is an amphitheater hour ring with engraved and lacquered minute circle. To the left of the amphitheater is the GMT indicator in gold with a blue triangle hand which can be adjusted by a simple push on the GMT pusher on the left. Over at the 430 position is the small seconds indicator also in gold with a polished blue second hand in steel. The third star of the show is that rather quirky convex sapphire crystal that screams Gruber for sale. I really do appreciate the unique design of the crystal which gives a three-dimensional view on the dial. Not something you see every day, neither is it easy to make. Flipping it around, the case back features another dome-shaped sapphire crystal that showcase 24 CTs on a 24 time zones. Interestingly, 
There are two 24 time zones, one UTC time and the other is the summer time. It is also interesting to notice that instead of Paris, it is replaced with La Chateau Fond, which is where Gruber Fosse is. A nice personal touch. Smack right in the center at the back of it is a gold plate indicating that this is a limited edition watch. One of 66. This big boy here costs over 1.7 million or 400,000 USD. Whilst I do not have the wrist nor the wallet to carry this watch, I personally do think that this is a beautiful looking piece. I like how from the Dell perspective, it showcased just the right amount of mechanical wonder to wow the audience and then attract you with the blue rotating marble on top. I like how the matte backdrop plays a role to visually elevate one's focus on the incline balance wheel and the globe. With so many things going on on the dial, it still doesn't feel cluttered. I also like how it is so easy to adjust the GMT hand with a simple push of a button. It's sporty, quirky and definitely a conversation starter. If you are in Malaysia and are interested in this watch, you can check it out at Sincere Fine Watches at the Pavilion Mall. If you like this kind of video, please like, share, subscribe, comment and hit that bell icon to support me and I'll really appreciate it and promise to make more videos like this. Until the next one, thank you for watching.